Today, I want to talk about the time that I accidentally created a Vlogbrother. So the original idea for Dave Green came up last year when I was trying to brainstorm ideas for my November novel. And I came up with this weird idea of a third Green brother who didn't really do anything in the limelight, wasn't really successful in the same way that they were. And I kind of forgot about it until recently when I decided just for fun I was going to post it on Tumblr. So I put it up and I mentioned the one scene that I had thought of for this supposed story where they would sit down to dinner and talk about their achievements and Dave Green, who didn't have a name until I wrote the Tumblr post and he became Dave Green, would, you know, just not really have anything to talk about in comparison to Hank and John. And the post got like two notes, which was pretty much exactly where my bar was set, because I don't really use Tumblr that often, so I was like, you know, if a couple people see it and chuckle, then that was about what I was aiming for. So I totally forgot about it until a couple days later, when I'm at work and I look at my phone and I have Tumblr notifications. I didn't know Tumblr had notifications, because I, I don't, no one, no one does things on my Tumblr, so I didn't, I didn't even know what the symbol meant until I pulled my screen down and looked. And I had 35 notes, and that was weird, so I pulled up the Tumblr app, and by the time I looked at my actual activity, I had 135 notes, which was really weird. And they all show in order, so I had to keep scrolling to figure out what was going on. Finally, I get to the bottom where it says, Edward Spoonhands reblogged your post. I was like, where do I know? What? So the bar, which had previously been set at about two notes, was completely and totally obliterated by Hank Green. So suddenly, all these people are liking the post, the reblogging it. I got a Tumblr spike, the likes of which I will never see again. And it was all really exciting. And that was awesome enough on its own, and then this happened. Danny wants to know, how come Dave Green is never in the video? <laughs> Who's Dave? That's Hank and John, and they're talking about a, they're talking about a thing that I made. What? What? So basically one day I posted this silly idea that I had to Tumblr, and then a few days later two of my heroes were talking about it in front of a million subscribers. I, I don't even know what you do. I don't, that was, it was, <laughs> it was cool. And at this point, I think it's safe to say that Dave Green is a thing. It's sort of become a piece of Vlogbrothers canon. And the Nerdfighter community has completely embraced Dave Green. There have been stories written about him, there have been art created, and there has been this amazing song written about him. I'm more than a third brother of John and Hank. Who when I mention can only draw a blank. And it's not easy to be Dave Green. And I know that like 99% of this has been sheer nerdfighter momentum pushing it forward, but the fact that I got to be the spark that set everything in motion is really cool. And here's what I think is the most interesting thing about Dave Green. I came up with the idea thinking that Dave Green was like a tragic figure. Like, he was constantly overshadowed. I was convinced that if there was a Dave Green, he would be really unhappy, and the nerdfighter community has completely rejected that idea. In like 90% of the things about Dave Green, he's sort of perceived as this really happy guy. Like, maybe he's subdued, maybe he likes to stay out of the limelight because he's just not really into the same things, maybe he's a secret agent and that's why he can't be in his videos or be mentioned. And kind of tying this into Maya's video on Monday about communities, I think that's something that is really interesting about the Nerdfighter community, that they took this figure, who I imagined as being kind of unhappy, and they said, no, he's probably totally happy, and here are the reasons why. He has these awesome brothers that are doing really great stuff, he's in a really stable family that supports him, whatever he wants to do, and, you know, why wouldn't he be happy? In fact, really one of the only negative things I saw in any of the Dave Green posts were people saying that they sort of felt like the Dave Green of their family or of their friend group. But the Nerdfighter community has sort of pointed out that even being the Dave Green isn't that bad, because that means you're part of a group where great things are happening, even if you're not necessarily participating in them in the same way. It means you have some pretty great people to look up to, and people who are going to support you through whatever you do. So all of the ridiculousness that surrounded this whole Dave Green thing, which has been totally awesome for me, has made me think that maybe I should be doing stuff like this more often, that I should be putting little ideas out there and seeing what happens, and participating in them and seeing where they go, instead of just, you know, keeping them quiet and doing nothing with them. So that's about all I have. Uh, I had this silly little idea and Nerdfighters totally ran with it and it's been awesome and I'm so beyond pleased with everything that's happened and thank you so much for the people who have done stuff with the Dave Green tag and the Dave Green name. It's just, it's been really cool to watch. Uh, I'll see you next time. DFDBA. Also, just to let everybody know, we do have a new channel member who will be joining us on Sunday, so make sure to come by and catch her introduction video and say hello. See ya.